So it's been like two whole weeks since my last video about a McLaren car, so I decided it was time to come back to McLaren Tampa to talk about the new McLaren 600 LT, the LT version of the McLaren 570S. It was just unveiled a couple days ago and McLaren has given us a little bit of information about the car, so I thought I'd come here to discuss pretty much everything we know about the new McLaren 600 LT. Now to be honest, I've known about the 600 LT for a few months now and I think pretty much everyone did. It's very obvious thanks to McLaren's Track 22 plan about them releasing a new car or a new version of a car every year that they were at some point going to have to do a 600 LT version of the 570S. Uh, and I'm very excited that they finally announced it and it's finally going to be coming to dealerships in a few months and I'll finally be able to review one for you guys. The 600 LT version has been giving a larger fixed carbon fiber rear spoiler in the back and a larger rear diffuser plus a reworked front fascia area with larger grill openings and larger front splitter and some really cool looking side skirts as well. Overall weight has actually been reduced by 211.6 pounds or 96 kilograms over the base 570S coupe thanks to a lot of carbon fiber parts on the car that weren't on the 570S. It's also been extended in length by about 2.9 inches or 74 millimeters thanks to the larger rear diffuser and front splitter. McLaren claims that the braking and suspension system on the 600 LT are lighter than the one in the 570S and are actually borrowed from the 720S. So it's going to be a lot stiffer probably and more track focused than the 570S was, which is the entire point of the LT. The engine of the 600 LT has been tuned a little bit as well with new top mounted exhaust system that spits flames and is supposedly a lot lighter than the one in the 570S. So helps kind of relieve that back pressure and boost the engine's performance to 592 horsepower and 457 pound-feet of torque, which is actually a fair amount of extra power over the 570S. The interior is a little more hardcore as well with new full carbon fiber racing seats that are actually taken from the P1. So overall, the 600 LT should be a lot lighter, a lot more powerful, produce a lot more downforce, and just be a lot more than the 570S was, and I think that's really cool. So thank you guys for watching this video. I can't wait to actually be able to come and review a 600 LT for you guys. You're definitely going to see a reviewer right here on this channel when it's finally being delivered. So make sure to subscribe, like this video, comment below, and go ahead and check out my channel because I've got a ton of exotic supercar and hypercar reviews up. So to subscribe, and thanks for watching.